Welcome! This is my first episode of a mapping tool tutorial for beginners. I don't want uh, to start with um, the map, a random mapsoid, because I've already made a proper video, I think. I already created a a map with only one cell. Um, this is uh, the street. I want to create a little building for it, for the street. And here is um, the red color is the wood. I've created a new folder for the map, tutorial beginner, and. Um, you already also, uh, also need the zombie spawn map, BMP file. Um, you can yes, you can spawn zombies uh, with it. But uh, this map is complete black, so no no zombies will spawn on it. If you want uh, that zombie spawn, so um, you can use, for example, paint.net and add some white color, for example, so and save. Okay, very white means uh, a lot of zombies, so they will be spawned here maybe, yes. So this is a folder for my buildings, um, here are the TMX files for the cells, We uh, I have on only one cell, and here is the output folder for the finished files. First I want to start with um, the PSET world at and create a new cell, a new building, a uh, map I mean, with one cell. Now let's switch to our folder and I can select and drag and drop my landscape map to the square, the cell, and the next step is to create the TMX file from the PNG or BMP file. Now I select the TMX world folder. This is OK. Assign generated maps to the world means the PNG or BMP file will um, be changed to uh, the real cell, so you can see the wood and so the, the forest. I mean, and so on. And okay. Now it takes a bit and finished. Now to change. To see this kind of view, you also have to go to the uh, preferences and um, switch on this box. Display map, th map thumbna thumbnail images in the world view. But it will cost more system memory, so 
if you're low on disk space or system memory, I wouldn't check it. And it's no problem if you don't see this view. You can always double click it and the cell will open. And now we see how it looks in in the game view. Okay. Now let's save our project in our folder. And it's now possible to start a tile set. Oh, he is uh, starting the other tutorial map. But that's no problem. We can close it and open our new world in the TMX world folder. And now we can change the landscape from hand. So for example traffic lines or these are new buttons can uh, create a that's a, a bit new for me I think I have to look for myself and explain it in another tutorial for now we only need this f uh, five buttons the stamp you can create can add tiles to the to your map and here you see tile sets if you don't see any windows you can click on view and open the windows with this seven options and you can Let's select the traffic lines, street traffic lines. <coughs> Can make it a bit larger. And now let's create a corner. If you select the floor tile, you will see it will not work because on this layer <coughs> sorry um is already the street tiles the grass this grass tile so we have to select the floor layer or two or three or four and now we can start something like this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yo. And if you hold right, the right mouse button, you can, um, um, how is it called? Uh, pick a tile. Yes, can use this. No, I've uh, now I've picked the street tile, or the grass tile, or the traffic line tile. And with the right mouse button, you can pick up uh, multiple tiles and place it with the left button or let's do it 
quicker and collect much more. And you can also do this. And we are finished with this direction. Or nearly finished. Let's see how far we have to go. Okay. Now we can select this tile or this one. I prefer to this one. L don't look good, so we can do it like so. And so on. Or maybe... Let's see here. Let's say you want to create a little um, place with um, um, garbage containers. So you need a new layer, you can add it here. Um, tile layer. And uh, the zero is important. Furniture. So, and it should be above vegetation because, uh, let's say, you put it under the floor layer. And now we select, uh, for example, this one and put it here. So the traffic line is above the table. And if we put it above the vegetation, table is above the traffic line and that's correct so we want to delete the table we can um, click on the rubber button and left click is deleting and now we want to create the garbage place First, I want to change the floor, and you will see I can't do it like this um, natural. No, I want to select the street tile, this one. You can't do it, and I will tell you why. These tiles are, are the grass tiles are part of the PNG file and you can't change it like this. You need these buttons and I will explain it in the next episode. So hang on. Ciao!